We are all faced with a series of great opportunities brilliantly disguised as impossible situations. Each day of our lives we make deposits in the memory banks of our children. Real integrity stays in place whether the test in adversity or prosperity. When the Lord makes it clear you're to follow Him in this new direction, focus fully on Him and refuse to be distracted by comparisons with others. We cannot change our past. We cannot change the fact that people act in a certain way. We cannot change the inevitable. The only thing we can do is play on the one string we have, and that is our attitude. Joy is a deeply felt contentment that transcends difficult circumstances and derives maximum enjoyment from every good experience. If you allow it, suffering can be the means by which God brings you His greatest blessings. God is able to take your life with all of the heartache, all of the pain, all of the regret, all of the missed opportunities, and use you for His glory. Fortunately, God made all varieties of people with a wide variety of interests and abilities. He has called people of every race and color who have been hurt by life in every manner imaginable. Even the scars of past abuse and injury can be the means of bringing healing to another. What wonderful opportunities to make disciples! When girls get jealous it's normal. But, when boys get jealous, lucky the girl he loves. God doesn't work on our timetable. He has a plan that he will execute perfectly and for the highest, greatest good of all, and for his ultimate glory. I cannot even imagine where I would be today were it not for that handful of friends who have given me a heart full of joy. Let's face it, friends make life a lot more fun. Learning more truth is a poor and cheap substitute for stopping and putting into action the truth already learned. Vision is the ability to see God's presence, to perceive God's power, to focus on God's plan in spite of the obstacles. The size of a challenge should never be measured by what we have to offer. It will never be enough. Furthermore, provision is God's responsibility, not ours. Choose to view life through God's eyes. This will not be easy because it doesn't come naturally to us. We cannot do this on our own. Pray and ask God to transform your thinking. Let Him do what you cannot. Ask Him to give you an eternal, divine perspective.